Hello, everybody. Today's lesson will be on conjunctions. Conjunctions are joining words. They join words, phrases, clauses, and sentences. There are three types of conjunctions. They are coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and correlative conjunctions. Today, our focus will be on coordinating conjunctions. So, what are coordinating conjunctions? Fanboys. This acronym is an easy way to remember the coordinating conjunctions. So, we have F-A-N-B-O-Y-S. Let's take a look at what each letter stands for. For and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. So, we have the seven coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Out of these conjunctions, and, but, or, and so are conjunctions that you use daily in your day-to-day -day life. Now is the time to see the application of these conjunctions in sentences. For. We use the conjunction for to give a reason, or we can use the word since or because. Let's see a sentence now. So, I cannot go to the supermarket, for we are under lockdown. So when we use the conjunction for, it has the same meaning as since or because. I cannot go to the supermarket because we are under lockdown. So when we say because unfortunately or for some reason, so instead of using since or because, you can use for. Next, we have the most frequently used conjunction and. We use this conjunction and to combine ideas. A sentence with and. The police caught the robbers and put them to jail. So we use this word and here, the conjunction and, to combine this and this together. The police caught the robbers and put them to jail. So they are two related clauses that we join through a conjunction. Next we have nor. It's similar to the conjunction and, however, the difference is that we use nor to combine two negative ideas. The usage in a sentence would be, John does not wake up early, nor does he help with the household work. So, he doesn't wake up early, and also he doesn't help with any of the household work. So, we use the word nor to combine two negative things. John does not wake up early, nor does he help with the household work? Another conjunction that we use mostly is but. We use the conjunction but to show exceptions. So a sentence would be, I brought all my supplies but the eraser. So I have brought all of my supplies except for the eraser. So we use but to show that. We forgot the eraser, but we brought all of the other supplies. So we use but to show the exception. So the exception here is that the eraser, that we have forgotten the eraser, we brought all of them, but except for the eraser. Or. We use the conjunction or to give options, to show options that we can choose between. That will be, you could pick a pizza or lasagna. So you have the option of choosing between pizza or lasagna. So we give alternatives using the conjunction or. Our next conjunction in the fanboys list is why, which is yet. So we use this conjunction yet to show the opposite or to show the contrary. Let's see how we use that in a sentence. Okay, so. Jane hates playing with dolls, yet loves me as Barbie. So Jane is known to hate playing with dolls. 
she doesn't like playing with dolls. Yet, however, so to the opposite, she loves me as Barbie. But Barbie is also a doll. She hates playing with dolls, but surprisingly, to show the opposite, she loves me as Barbie. So, it's you expect the unexpected here. So, she doesn't play with dolls, but unexpectedly, she loves playing with me as Barbie, who is also a doll. So, we use the conjunction yet to show the opposite. Next, we have another conjunction that we use every day. So, we use the word conjunction so to show the effect or the result. If something happens because of that, something else happens. So, we have John had a severe toothache, so he went to the dentist. We use this conjunction to show the result that happened due to this cause. So, we have the cause here and the effect. The cause is that he had a severe toothache and the effect was that he went to the dentist. So, we use the conjunction so to show the result of the cause. John had a severe toothache, so he went to the dentist. He went to the dentist as a result of the severe toothache that he had. Now we have learned all of the seven coordinating conjunctions, so remember fanboys. Now is the time for you to do a few exercises on your own. Let's test your knowledge now. Take up this challenge to fill in the gaps with the correct coordinating conjunctions. So there are seven sentences. Read them carefully. Take your time. You can pause the video to fill up the gaps. Look for the meaning and use the correct conjunction that comes in the correct gap. You can post the video if you need more time. Now, there is another exercise where you have to work on a paragraph. This is the paragraph. Read it carefully and figure out which of the seven coordinating conjunctions should come in the correct gap. So, fanboys, remember the seven coordinating conjunctions and watch our next video on subordinating conjunctions and the correlative conjunctions. So good luck with this, take your time, pause the video, go back to the video, revise and learn your coordinating conjunctions. See you next time.